kibazo nabone no rashobora kubaza umuntu wese ngo yoka fisi kibazo arabikaze uko mubabona hani mbere bari tumye kwishira ibazo bya landry in english So we wish to welcome all of you in this uh, press conference that was organized by the Nigerian Embassy in Burundi. As you can see, we are in front of us, we have uh, His Excellency, the Ambassador of Nigeria to Burundi, and uh, his spouse, and we're also with other diplomats that are working with him. So we welcome all of you and we hope that you're going to, be going to gain more knowledge about uh, the country of Nigeria and especially this special day as we celebrate the independence. You are going to have uh, an opportunity to ask uh, your questions, but uh, at this particular moment, we wish to give the floor to His Excellency to present the facts. Uh, thank you so very much, um, Your Excellencies, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and uh, of course, uh, members of the media of uh, the Republic of Burundi. Um, my name is Elijah Chinesimo Nyama, the British Ambassador representing Nigeria here in the Republic of, the Republic of Burundi. To my immediate right, uh, first of all, to my left is my beautiful wife, Her Excellency uh, Udo Nyama. To my right, again, is uh, a minister that works with the embassy that um, deputizes me. Uh, his name is uh, Abunu Aminu Amawa. Um, to my uh, left, again, is um, the head of chancery. His name is uh, Mr. Dauda Stanley. Uh, we're here today to discuss Nigeria. As you know, this is um, 1st of October 2021, this is uh, incidentally Nigeria's uh, 61st independence anniversary. And um, we have been here for 14 years. And um, I still reckon that a lot of people are still trying to, not very clear as to what our mission here is, uh, what is Nigeria about. And of course, uh, we felt that this is a very good opportunity uh, to look at Nigeria, find out what we have done, and then what we are doing, and of course, what we are about to do. Hence, that's why I tagged this meeting, the Nigerian mission in Burundi, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Now, I'll go to my address, and after the address, I will also pause and wait for questions to come. Uh, the Federal Republic of Nigeria is a country in West Africa. It is the most populous country in Africa. That is to say that, um, Five out of every African, one person there is in Nigeria. That's the most populous nation in the face of, most populous black nation in the face of the earth. And we're about 200 million, over 200 million, and Africa is about a billion people. So that's where I got my statistics from. So once you count five black people, one person must be a Nigerian in Africa. Now, um, 
geographically, we are situated between the Sahel to the north and the Gulf of Guinea to the south in the Atlantic Ocean, covering area of 923,000 square kilometers. Now that also gives you an idea of the size of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in terms of landmass. Burundi is about 27,000, I think, square kilometers. Mm -hmm. But Nigeria is actually 924,000 square kilometers in terms of mm -hmm. landmass. And um, of course, you heard me say we are about 211 million people. Uh, Nigeria is a multinational state inhabited by more than 250 ethnic groups speaking over 500 distinct languages. Uh, here in Burundi, I think I know Kirundi, I know Swahili, and then uh, French, and uh, maybe English. But in Nigeria, we have 250, over 250 tribes speaking over 500 distinct uh, ethnic languages. Uh, you know, that also begins to give you an idea of the size of the country. Um, we have uh, three. Out of these 250, we have about three, uh, which are largely uh, you know, uh, the majority in the population. 60% of the, of the country are split between three major ethnic groups, the Hausas, the Yorubas, and the, the Igbos. The, the Hausas live uh, majorly on the northern part of the country, the western side of the country uh, the, for the Yorubas, and of course the eastern part of the country, you've got uh, the Igbos. And of course, there are quite a lot of other ethnic groups scattered in between the south, north central, north east, and so on and so forth. Uh, Nigeria's economy is the largest in Africa, the 27th largest in the world by nominal GDP. Nigeria is often referred to as the giant of Africa owing to its large population and economy and is considered to be an emerging market by the World Bank. It is a regional power in Africa, a middle power in international affairs and an emerging global power. Nigeria is a founding member of the African Union, a member of the international organizations which includes the United Nations, uh, the Commonwealth of Nations, the Economic Community of West Africa, what we refer to as the ECOWAS, uh, OPEC, the, uh, and of course it is a member of uh, the informal mint group of countries and is one of the next uh, 11 economies in the world. Our culture is rich and diverse. Uh, Nigeria have got very wonderful culture, very wonderful culture. Each of the ethnic groups have got something very unique about them. And uh, by the time you study a little bit more about Nigeria and the kind of things we practice, there are lots of festivals, just as you have here in Burundi, but Nigeria is quite large and uh, there's a lot of cultural activities that go on in the country from time to time. Nigeria is a country that is also renowned for producing great men and women. Uh, if you hear of the Nobel laureate, Nigeria has produced a Nobel laureate. Uh, Nigeria is actually the home to the richest uh, black man on earth, and the uh, richest uh, also African, in the name of uh, <laughs> Dangote. I'm sure all of you actually have heard of Dangote before. Um, Nigeria is also very renowned in sports. If you think about Nigeria, I'm sure a lot of you will think about football. You think about athletics, Nigeria is known for its uh, exploits in, in the field of sports, especially with respect to football and in the field of athletics. Uh, we also have got very vibrant um, diaspora community. I have been here and I attended a lot of events um, within the diaspora week, so I can also attest to the fact that Burundi, while doing very well, Nigeria is also uh, blessed with a very huge and active, vibrant diaspora community. And Nigeria is also big with entertainment. Nigeria has the second most um, largest uh, film industry. Uh, you, you know the, the Nollywood, you know the, the Nollywood. A lot of people here watch the, uh, uh, our movies. I know Nigerian music is also very popular here too. A lot of musicians from Nigeria are very, um, you know, are very popular here in Burundi. You know, the Bonner Boys, the Davidos, the Two-Face, the flavors of this world, and, and so on and so forth. These are some of the things Nigeria exports to the world. Our churches also are very popular because here in Burundi, I'm sure there are at least a minimum of five Nigerian churches here in Burundi as well. Uh, Nigeria have got beautiful food, so uh, to the media I say to you, uh, whatever you do here today, please do not leave without tasting the Nigerian jollof rice. It's one of our best exports in the world in terms of food. So we have made sure that we have jello fries available for you to have a taste of. That's just to let you into the Nigerian uh, delicacies. Um, we are also very good with fashion. And um, as you can see from the dressing of people here, you will also have an idea of uh, what we talk about fashion. This is actually uh, a 
from the northern part of the country. This is what you find uh, in the eastern part of the country and so on. And this is actually a beautiful Nigerian woman that is also married to the ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so beyond that, we, I, I'd like to say that Nigeria is um, a country that has got a lot of intelligent people. Uh, something about the Nigerian spirit is something that you can call the never say never attitude. Nigerians believe they can survive anywhere. And that's the reason why you can, sometimes you see us as uh, being everywhere, because uh, anywhere you travel in the world that you do not see a Nigerian, there's a big problem. You must try to move away, because that means that that's not a livable place. We are everywhere. You know. And um, now I'd like to talk about Nigerian mission here in Bujumbura. We opened our mission here in 2000, May 2007 in form of reciprocity. And what do I mean by that? Um, there were meetings that went on between the two governments, and um, Burundi first opened its mission in Nigeria in uh, February 2007, and uh, Nigeria reciprocated by also opening a mission here in May 2007. And since then, we've had about uh, five heads of missions, as you can see their pictures here. The first is uh, Mr. Seydou Momo, who was here between 27, 2007 and 2010. That follows with uh, Mr. Julius Shodibe, who was also here as the head of mission between 2010 and 2012. And uh, that was followed by His Excellency Ambassador Odimus, who was here between the year 2012 and 2015. We know between 2015 and uh, 16, there were a couple of uh, issues that happened here in Burundi, and I'm still going to talk about that. And uh, thereafter, in 2017, we sent uh, uh, Mr. Friday Okai as the head of the mission, followed by Ambassador Obidono, who only left in April this year, before myself, uh, Elijah, took over as the head of the mission. And um, I hope to be here for some time. And um, I'm already enjoying my life in Burundi, so I'm not in a history. Um, what have we done? Uh, since we opened our mission here, there's a business called the government to government business, which um, is basically the sale of crude oil between government to government. Uh, that has happened before, I think in 2000, 2007, between 2009 and uh, about 2012-13. We had a contract between Nigeria and Burundi on the sale of crude oil business. That happened and then, uh, I think after the president of Basanja at the time, uh, then that transaction ended. In addition to that, Nigeria have sent uh, technical uh, assistance in form of health staff to Burundi before, sometime back in 2007. And um, they've been here, and then that contract uh, we are ended at the time. As we speak now, we are renegotiating the contract to see some sort of assistance that we can send to Burundi in that area. Uh, Burundi are requesting for people in the health industry, people that will help the education in form of teachers and so on. So we are looking at that at the moment. Uh, Nigeria has also played a very important role to the Republic of Burundi, especially in 2015 when there were crises in this country. There were, and then now Burundi tomorrow, what, what are we looking at? We are looking at uh, improving on the agreement that has been signed. We are looking at um, uh, signing additional bilateral agreements. The Technical Aid Corps is one of the agreements we are looking at signing. The, uh, there's an agreement called Diplomatic Agreement that can allow official passports and diplomatic passports of both countries travel to each, you know, just go to each of the destinations without having a visa. We are working on that agreement. We are also working on the, on the, on the agreement for trade and investments because um, we see Burundi as a very good investment destination and um, we see Burundi as a very good ground that Nigerian investors can come and look at in the areas of tourism, in the areas of mining, in the areas of agriculture, in the areas of even sports, and uh, of course, entertainment. Uh, you know, so these are some of the agreements that we're working with the government to see that we also sign. We are also looking at the possibility of signing a BASA agreement or what they call the bilateral air services uh, agreement that will allow flight to move from you know, one country to the other without any issues. And that also is going to help aid all of these other agreements because at the moment, before I come to Burundi, I'll have to go to either Ethiopia or fly to Nairobi or fly to Rwanda. Ethiopia is funny, you just fly across and then you start coming back again. So that's, uh, these are journeys that will take you two days you can actually do between uh, Nigeria and Burundi for like four hours or thereabouts from, from my calculation. So there needs to be something that will support what we're doing in that front. We're also looking at continuation of the G2G agreement uh, between the countries. 
We are also uh, hoping that between now and early next year, we can actually have, uh, first quarter of next year, we can have the Nigeria Burundi Investment Summit, uh, which allows business people within these two countries to come and explore one another. And Burundi business people will be looking at opportunities in Nigeria and also vice versa. So these are some of the things that we are looking at. And we are hoping that we will be able to get uh, even the president of Nigeria to come and have a visit here or the president of Burundi to go to Nigeria in what we describe as a state visit. So e each of these uh, can actually uh, serve the same purpose because when the president meets, a lot of agreements are signed, a lot of discussions in terms of how to deepen the cooperation between the two countries. Uh, some of these discussions are up on the table for discussion. And then um, we are hoping to organize an event called the Run Butcher. We are, we are hoping to organize a marathon or some kind of race for uh, under 20 uh, young people of Burundi. Uh, first thing, you know, the first objective is that, uh, you know, health is wealth. Second is that we need to be able to participate in the country, uh, finding talent, just, uh, you know, getting talent, seeing people that have got the capacity to represent the country at that level. So Nigerian will be work Nigerian embassy will be working with stakeholders uh, from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, for, you know, every stakeholder that will be involved will speak to them and try to get that event and will present prizes to the winners of uh, the competition. And um, we are also looking at uh, having some sort of entertainment partnership between the two countries. So clearly, um, I think um, I've basically addressed issues, uh, you know, in terms of what we've done yesterday, what we have done today, and what we look forward to doing uh, in the nearest future. Nigeria is um, a very interesting place. We are happy to be here. At the center of Nigeria's foreign policy is Africa unity, and that's why we have missions in virtually every part of the country. Um, our mission here used to be a tragedy at a fair level, but it has recently been upgraded to a full ambassadorial level. That is done uh, to be able to drive home the point that uh, the unity, cooperation within African countries is extremely very important to the President of the Republic of Nigeria. So I thank the media for this opportunity. I will uh, sit back and then uh, wait for your questions. Thank you so very much and God bless you. Nobody 
Ndiyo lelo ni vyo umusiru kizi mungi ucha Nigeria, mungi ucha mungi ya shoboi mshikiliza. Kuru mba yuko timigenda ni lagati mungi ucha Nigeria ya nungurundi. Hali mginza, hali kukurundi muhande na wanya na minya shama kuru wa santu wa kuna. Hali mti mtziki ya nabuze yuko mungi ucha Nigeria ya nabuse. Hali mingi, beza kandi, wa santu wa na azubi ya tanze, uturo yelo tuwa wu, hali mingi. No, mbrika nukanya lelo, nunganyo wa nizina minya shama kuru aho, Adungwe sembele kubaza ibiwa zo kitarenga kuli bibiri hama uri dondo ora ubi au sangu kora uwaze mugi nza jenga ha achawa suliamu ibiwa mukuze mbele mugi ni mazu mugi na mbu baize bishure agi nza bishura acha suli kandi amenye shida shule mshiri nza ni moche mo amenye shaba kwa kila kwa kano ni mo kila kwa nakos. So mu usiru kibundi mafu wakiri mtoto mu mu matika ya mtoto. Na kwanza mwanzo, uhara, Nigeria shura kugira mwenye ndani na chache na mwanzo kama mafuz. Ivi ndiyo huko mwanzo kuteri mbere, Nigeria na Afrika yepo, ndiyo huko mwanzo kuteri mbere, mitera mbere. Ndugu kuchia misiri, ivi ndiyo huko jari biya, iratanga mafuz sekuwa huko. Nigeria jua hivi tangu. Let me say that it is the first time in the history of Burundi to see an ambassador as young as you are. So the question is. What is Nigeria uh, planning to contribute in promoting education in Burundi in terms of uh, awarding or giving uh, scholarships to students? We, they, they heard that uh, a few years back, Nigeria used to support the Burundi with the product project of crude oil, but uh, it didn't last that long. So what happened and how far is that project? That we need to be very strange. Which Nigeria will push the Burundi? Nigeria kura gira jelo Burundi, Nigeria kumaze kuteri bere, kuna musi mwigambi ya kazi oza 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 mwigambi ya is there any specific uh, project in promoting uh, traveling to uh, Bujumbura and to Abuja on direct flights? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much uh, for the question. Uh, what's your name? Okay. Alan. Alan. Alan, thank you very much. Um, let me uh, first of all say that um, the reason why you are seeing a young ambassador here uh, is because the federal government of Nigeria has um, made it a priority to promote young people that have good capacity. So that's the reason why the president felt it was important to expose young people. When you get to Nigeria, there are quite a lot of young people that are uh, in the position of leadership. And it's also not different from what I've found here in Burundi as well. Uh, I've seen a lot of young people, and I do think that Africa, uh, irrespective of which part of Africa we are all in, um, we must make very good, very good use of our young uh, people because uh, that's where the more that's that's where you have the a large number of people, uh, you know, I, I, I understand that um, about 70% of the population of um, Africa is under the age of 20 or thereabouts. So that's where you have the manpower. And um, Nigeria is taking a, it's taking a cue from that. And that's why you, you can see someone of my uh, age, uh, you know, doing this job. But it's not even just the age, it's also uh, the fact that young people must also get themselves ready for uh, this kind of responsibility and indeed other leadership responsibilities in Africa. Just Nigeria as well. Um, Nigeria before now have um, played a lot of role in giving military scholarships to some of the military people uh, to go to the Nigerian uh, military academies to study. Uh, we've also tried as much as possible to ensure that that continues. Uh, the reason why we signed the agreements on uh, education cooperation is to find avenues where we can have exchange programs. Is to find avenues where we can get our lecturers to come to both countries and uh, 
and the practice is also to help the educational system. So that's obviously why we put pen to paper. The Nigerian Minister, Minister of State uh, for Foreign Affairs was here to sign the agreement, as well as the uh, Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs, uh, Ambassador Alba Shingiro, they all signed the agreement. So we are now going to the implementation stage. Again, Burundi has made it very clear that they need Nigerians that can come in and help the education. The same is also uh, possible for health, because we are looking at sending health experts, doctors, nurses, those in the health industry, as well as teachers, professors, doctors that can also come into the education space, help in teaching English and some other sciences that would be very good for the people for the Republic of Burundi. Um, on the crude oil matter, yes, uh, at some point uh, in the past, I talked about it when I was talking about yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Uh, what has happened is that that agreement stopped at that time. We are looking at resuscitating it, and I'm sure that the meeting that was held between the two leaders uh, of uh, Nigeria and Burundi at the Onga also had that. That matter was also discussed. And we are very confident that we will get that approval, and Nigeria can also start to deal with the it's actually what they call government-to-government -government business with respect to crude oil. So we are hoping to close that as quickly as possible. So I've answered your question in terms of promoting health under the technical aid core, education under the technical aid core, uh, the G2G, we are working on trying to get that over the line, as well as the flights. Okay, you talk about flights. Part of the agreement, you can't have flights come across both countries if you don't have the bilateral air services agreement. We are working on getting that agreement done, but, but a flight, like every other business, has to be driven by the business case. It is not just to put a plane for putting a plane sake. There has to be businesses here, there has to be reason why Burundians will have to go to Nigeria. And there has to be reasons why Nigerians will have to come to Burundi. And it has to make a business sense. Because if it doesn't make business sense, the person that will start the business will run at a loss. So what we're trying to do is to find these investment opportunities in both countries, organize a summit so that both businesses will good businesses from Nigeria and Burundi will have to look at opportunities of partnership and cohesion. Good thing the, the Africa uh, free trade agreement, free trade area, the AFTA agreement, uh, Nigeria and Burundi are also signatories to AFTA, which means that things can be produced from here. Your avocado, your tea, your coffee can find its way to Nigeria. Nigerians' other products can also find its way to uh, Burundi, not just crude oil. There could also be other finished products that can also find its way here. So the, the, the reason why we're here is to ensure that these agreements are implemented and to ensure that there is a, a better cooperation between both countries. Thank you very much. Yes, <laughs> Ni kibazo bihanze isi. Ati rero bisaba yuko uh, baja hamwe 
benshi bashoboka kugira ngo bashobe kwiga by'ukuri ingene bo rwanya icyo kibazo cy'itera bwo eh yabuza ati ubijanye na ukwinezereza ati hazobaho ibiganiro n'abategetsi kongera kugira ngo barabe ingene bo shora guhuza cyangwa kiranye ibigenderanire aba abanyamuziki bo ngaha mu Burundi nabandi ya muri Nigeria bashobora guhura baganire ati kandi byo byose bizoca muri ya masezerano bayoze gusinganira ati ariko bazogerageza barabe ko bashobora kuzana bamwe mu bari bintu wa bazane nga kugira ngo barabe ko bashobora kugira ibiteramo kugira ngo bagonane nabari bintu bo nga ati ariko kandi bajya bakina amareresi ari wa nta cyo tuma utaza hano ati kuko yarabonye yuko ibutuye gifise imisozimiza cyane eh bashora ko zabagakora amarenzi yabo kandi bakaneze ero cyabuga ati arabashimi ko ngamwita ati kandi amukurikiye ati murakoze cyane eh arabandi bamenesha makuru bavuye ko afise ibibazo naho nyene barashobora kubaza umuntu wese ngo yego afise ikibazo arawe kaze ukumu wabona hani bere bari tubiye kwishura ibazo bya ladri some of uh, the Bologna artists, musicians, they, they, they desire to travel to visit uh, Nigeria and meet uh, their friends, but uh, some of them here, uh, they can manage, they can get some means to travel to Nigeria, but it becomes very difficult for them to meet their, uh, their, their colleagues in Nigeria. So is there anything that the Embassy of Nigeria can do to help the Burundian musicians when they go to Nigeria to meet the other musicians in Nigeria? Okay, um, before I answer this question, are there other questions so I can take the questions all at the same time? Have you been to so you can go to the other one. Any other one? Mm -hmm. okay, please, let's just answer the questions. We, we don't have time anymore, so... so. My name is Biane, I'm a journalist from Savanero. So I'm trying to come up with the question asked by my friend over there that you have the plan just to promote entertainment, especially to the youth. So Nigeria is the country who has, which has made a, pro, a progress in the football game, game because it is the nation who won even the nation, uh, African nation competition for so many times. So you say that after the, the, the the discussion or the dialogue we're going to hold with the authority who will just tell us the way you're going to promote this sector. We would like just to know the strategies you are going to use because there, there are a lot of our academies for footballs, but here they aren't. We would like to know that the strategies that you're going to use so that you may promote this entertainment here in <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, with respect to what you said concerning uh, Burundian musicians uh, having some sort of uh, collaboration with Nigerian musicians, it's possible. This is one of the reasons why we're here. It's not always uh, Burundian musicians going to Nigeria. We can, Nigerian musicians can also come here. Uh, trust me, all, all we try to do is to give them reasons why they have to come here. And um, not just that, Burundi occupies a very special place in the heart of East Africa. So any collab or collaboration in music is not just for Burundians, it's for Rwandans, it's for Ugandans, it's for Tanzanians and all of that. So we will make the business case and that's why we are young people. So, and we will try and see whichever way we can assist. Uh, I'm here and um, I'm, I'm the eye of Nigeria in this country. 
and then we will see these musicians you're talking about who we'll try and find a way to give them that opportunity because um, I know that uh, you have very talented people and we will also work uh, with them to see how they can uh, reach out to their counterparts in Nigeria and like I said the objective will be getting one or two artists from Nigeria to come to the movie to perform. I understand Peace Square uh, came here sometime mm -hmm. in the past. We'll try and see if we can uh, get some more people and then we'll see how we can move on from there. Uh, with respect to sports, uh, sports is a uniting factor for Africa, it's a united factor for Nigeria, it's a united factor for Burundi. Uh, um, I went to Makamba to watch uh, Black Eagles play and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the football I watched there. So I said it to say that um, it's important that uh, uh, players that are coming up here can also look at academies and football clubs in Nigeria and vice versa. It's not um, just a one-way traffic. Uh, Nigeria does not have all the solutions to Burundi's problem and Burundi does also not have all the solutions to Nigeria's problems. Uh, we can always solve the ones we can solve and then the ones we can't solve we continue to work and look for other alternatives where we can solve them. Yes, the reason why we're here is to improve on this cooperation on the grounds of collaboration between the, relation, uh, the relations between both countries. And while we are doing this, any kind of assistance that within our resources that we can provide for Burundians, we will do that. And anywhere we think that Nigeria can also benefit from what is going on there in Burundi, that's also why we're here. So we, we call the press today to, have, um, to be able to explain to you why we are here, what we have done, what we are doing, and what we plan to do. So uh, when we organize the running competition, it's also helping Burundi find talent. It's also bringing resources to reward people that, are, that have worked very hard. So these are some of the things that we'll be doing here in Burundi so that we'll be sure that uh, uh, Burundi will feel the impact of the relationship it has with Nigeria. So once again, I thank you very much. God bless you. And whatever you do today, do not make the mistake of living here without tasting Nigeria Jollof of rice. Please repeat it when you see it. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> Kanya <laughs> Barabona, <laughs> Amen. Ariko <laughs> 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 <